Hello? So, let's answer sample problem 2 slash 1. The forces F1, F2, and F3, all of which acts on point A of the bracket, are specified in three different ways. Determine the X and Y scalar component of each of the three forces. So, how to do that? Let's start with F1. So, in F1, so you have the 600 Newton force. Okay. So, it's the one. This is 600 Newton. Okay. Then you have here 35 degrees. Okay. So, the component now would be okay so you have the y component f1y and the x component f1x to solve that okay from your uh, mechanics so you have uh, sokatoa or in that case if you want to get the f1x that is uh, adjacent side so you can solve it using cosine okay cosine 35 equals adjacent the f1 x then the hypotenuse of 600 newton so f1 x now would be so that would be uh Cosine 35, don't forget to be in degrees, times 600, so that would be 491.49. So, 491.4912 Newton. So, that's your answer for uh, F1X. Now, for F1Y, since this one is the same magnitude as this so that is the opposite so you will use sine 35 opposite is f1 y over hypothesis of 600 so f1 y would be so just just change the cosine to sine so that would now be 344 okay so 344.5 1459 newton uh, usually we will use four decimal places but of course we're not following the significant figures here uh, this uh, just for discussion so that is for the uh, f1 now for the f2 okay this one so as you can see it's uh, different uh, you can get the uh, uh, angle here, but there's a uh, different approach. Okay. So again, this is the uh, F2, which is 500 Newton. And you're given with the, uh, this dimension, 3 and 4. So of course, this one. So that is the hypotenuse. I think that that is uh, five. But let me check. Yes, that is five. Okay, that is the small uh, triangle. And uh, let's see. Okay. Now this one, the big triangle. So you can have the similar triangle. Okay. So this is one F. 2y and f 2x oh sorry cannot see so that's the one the small triangle uh, the small triangle and the uh, big triangle similar triangle or uh, you can use the ratio using similar triangle or it's best to use okay sine sine uh, theta Okay, if this is theta, equals to opposite over hypotenuse. What's the opposite? That is F2y and hypotenuse is F2. 
okay then the small triangle that is opposite is 3 then hypotenuse is 5 so you have this equation that's what they call the similar triangle so all you need to do is to find the f2y okay and that is equivalent to 3 over 5 times f2 that is 600 so uh, is that 600 or 500 sorry it should be 500 okay 500 so that is 500 so that is now your f2y would be uh, what's that again f2y it's uh, 300 300 newton okay so that's another way this is using uh, degrees this is using similar triangle okay now uh, for the I will just put it here uh, for the f2x so you have cosine theta cosine theta is opposite over hypotenuse okay and uh, oh uh, sorry it should be adjacent adjacent is f2y f2y over hypotenuse that is f or let me rewrite here okay f2y uh, sorry should be x sorry so, uh, x x this one x okay x is 4 over uh, 5 okay so you now have f2 x equals 500 uh, times 4 over 5 so f2 x is 400 newton okay so you have now uh, the f2 now let's see for the uh, f3 for the f3 so this one you have to look at the dimension there's no given similar triangle or the degrees but you can have the dimension so you have here the f3 this is a okay now look at this one from here to there that is 0 0.4 point 0.1 plus point 0.3 is point 0.4 okay and this one okay that is point 0.4 minus point 0.2 so this one is point 0.4 minus point 0.2 so that is point 0.2 so okay this is 0 0.2 and this one is okay point 0.4 if you have a dimension you can get this let's say this is alpha okay now take note this uh, this is not the same location or reference as this one this is from the vertical so your opposite is this one actually your opposite is this is your opposite this is your adjacent okay so don't be confused now to get the this one you can have uh, sine or since you have thou this is the opposite and this is the hypotenuse ah no this is the adjacent so you have tangent tangent alpha is opposite over adjacent towa okay so opposite is point 0.2 and you have this one uh, point 0.2 and the adjacent is point 0.4 so you can get the alpha that is the inverse tangent Okay, of point 0.2 over point 0.4 so okay so you now have inverse tangent point 0.2 point 0.4 okay so that is 26.5651 degrees now you can solve for the because this is 
f3 x and f3 y you can solve for f3 x f3 x using sine alpha that is opposite opposite is f3 x take note sine x so see uh, don't memorize formula because if you memorize formula it doesn't make sense na kapag ganito okay but again it is the opposite that's the formula uh, that's the that you should remember then f3 f3 is 800 so uh, let me save this one ship store a okay so f3 now is sine alpha ah uh, sorry so it should be what's that again uh huh yes f3x okay equals f3 sine alpha so you have 800 times sine 26.5651 degrees so sine answer times 800 so you have f3x it's 357.7709 newton let me check if that is correct f3x uh, f3x is uh, 358 okay. okay 358 yeah 358 then next to solve for f3y that is using uh, y is adjacent so we will be using cosine so 800 I will a direct ko na 800 or if you want f3 um, cosine alpha so you have uh, 800 cosine 26.56 so you have okay 800 cosine 26.56 ah i can use the stored value to be the same decimal 715 okay so f3y it's 715.5418 newton okay so that is the x and y component of the three forces now uh okay you can use actually uh, the vector notation but uh, we will discuss that later so that's it for today we did find the f1 the scalar value f1 f2 and f3